Hello friends, I'm Zinzan the Gamer Man with Overnight Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Medieval Academy. Medieval Academy is a 2-5 to five player game. It plays within about 30 minutes. Designed by Nicholas Ponson, published by Blue Cocker and ILO. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, let's get going. Set up. Place game boards on the center of table. White border face down. Place hourglass on turn one of parchment. Shuffle learning card deck and sort coat of arms. Place one disc of each player color on each board. Players keep remaining three discs for possible future use. Player with the most chivalrous pose takes Excalibur and goes first. Goal. Have the most chivalry points after six rounds. How to play. Deal each player five cards. Draft cards. Draft one card by placing it face down on table and pass the rest. Direction of passing is indicated on the parchment. Play cards. Starting player plays one card and moves their disc the number of spots equal to the value of the card on the corresponding game board. Play continues in a clockwise manner until all cards have been played. Score. Look at the parchment on top left corner of boards. Starting with the gallantry board, score if the current round is depicted. Gallantry boards allow third place to move their disc up to one spot on any track. Second place, two spots on any track. First place, three spots on any track. Keep in mind, once scoring has begun, ranking is set for a gallantry board and moves cannot be split. If there is a tie, whoever is on top wins. If you are if you if still at the beginning, you are considered last. The joust tournaments and quest boards give positive points to heroes who are furthest along the track. The education and charity boards give negative points to low ranked players. Sadly, the king's service board gives points to each player depending on how far they traveled on the track. Reset. At the end of the third round, reset all discs to space zero on the gallantry, joust tournaments, education, and king's service boards. After every round, change the first player by passing around the, the sword clockwise. Game ends after six rounds. The person with the most chivalry points wins the game and becomes a knight. If there is a tie, the person who's farthest on the gallantry track wins the game, and don't forget, they become a knight. My favorite part about this game is probably the super awesome sword, which is called the Excalibur Sword. And I also love the little shields. They're so cool. And the boards, they have so much detail in it. I can tell they spent so much time working on this game.